Indianapolis Raceway Park played host to a Cletus and Cars event. And within the event, there was a North Central Division III NHRA Regional, which had Top Alcohol Funny Car and Top Alcohol Dragster on the grounds competing for those precious points, moving towards the end of the year and crowning a national champion. Eliminations round one was on Saturday. You can see the ladders on the screen now for Top Alcohol Funny Car and also Top Alcohol Dragster. Yours truly, Lee Kraft here, the Monday Morning Racer. We're going to pick up with elimination action on Sunday with the semifinals next. It is just refusing to leave the 
520. It is hauling, absolutely hauling this weekend. Jasmine Salinas, 43 on the tree. Stewart was 48. She runs a 533-272. Bartone Brothers Racing with Sean Bellamere at the wheel. They have said no quarter, and with three final round appearances now and two wins in the last several races, <laughs> certainly y'all are giving no quarter. you have been hitting on all eight cylinders. What have you found lately? Well, uh, consistency, and that's what we've needed. So, you know, the power's always been there. The team's always been there. It just It seemed like one weekend where I was off, Steve had saved my butt, and, and maybe if Steve was struggling a little bit, and now it seems like we're all gelling. So, uh, you know, we... Everybody's tough out here. We got a tough final round, and uh, uh, but it's it's even early in the season. It's a big round already. There's cars all over the country winning races. We got to win races too. So I'm excited. Cars running good. It's gonna be a great final round. Mr. Howe packing the parachute for a final round at Indianapolis. A tall order in the Killer Bees over there in the other lane. Can y'all get past them? All right, we're just gonna go out there and run our own. Uh run and see if uh, we can repeat our run yesterday at a 45 and we'll see what happens. That should do it. Final round coming up. Brian Howe cascaded the competition here at Indianapolis in this regional, and you did it over stiff competition with the Killer Bees in the final round. Stellar pass for the win. We did. That was a tight race. Uh, he he beat us, uh, what, two weeks ago in Vegas uh, by six and a half thou, and here we beat him uh, by seven and a half thou. So it's pretty awesome racing. Y'all celebrated champagne, champagne spraying, stellar win. What was it like racing before an immense crowd at a regional, though, yesterday in particular? Oh, it's pretty awesome. We need this guy to come to all the regionals. I mean, there was more people in the stands this weekend. Like, you do the burnout, and there's more people in the stands than at a national event when we run. Absolutely amazing. I mean, the stands were, I bet they were 80% full, it looked like. Um, crazy. Pretty awesome. Thanks to uh, Oregon Motor Coach, Cascade Truck Body, Rad Torque, and uh, Ram Trucking. Uh, we got a win, and uh, awesome here at Indy. Thank you. The Mobile One, a fuel dragster of Tony Stewart, is going to a final round. McPhillips Racing has got him there. Rich McPhillips, hey, you were on a show recently on my platform, Monday Morning Racer. Good to have you that time. Got you on again. Well, final rounds with Tony is becoming pretty familiar. Yeah, we're, uh, this car's really come around. We're getting it dialed in. It's uh, starting to listen to really what, what we're telling it to do. And uh, we, uh, they've given us a really good racetrack this weekend. It's been a hell of a show. Last run, we uh, were really on our best pass. We weren't even trying, but it took the tire off around 1.6. So if we can calm that down, it should really hold them out. So it's been running 5.18, 5.20s, you know, walking it down. And uh, now we'll can't really get after it, but uh, hopefully we can wrap the deal up. As good as McPhillips Racing is, they don't even need the luck of the Irish. The A-Fuel Dragster of Miss Frick is going to a final round at Indianapolis. And this year, I would say, started out, hasn't been quite the year you want. Going to a final round here at Indianapolis has got to feel good. This is our second final of the year. We've been testing a lot of stuff at the beginning of the year. And uh, John Fink's just about got it figured out. And uh, we came here to test this weekend. And so far, so good. We got lucky first round, uh, one on a whole shot second round, and hopefully we can continue that third round. Yeah, stellar driving there in the semifinals. Competition in this class is insane. Got it done with a whole shot. It's got to make you feel confident going into the final round that you drove that well. It does. Um, we've been having some problems with our brakes this year. They haven't been holding, and I went up there and told myself this time, no matter what, it doesn't matter. The only thing you have to do is focus on that top bulb. That's your only job to do right now. So I was able to get that out of my mind and uh, forget about that and just hit the tree on time. Thank God. It's Frick and Smoke in the final.
Duke and McPhillips back in victory lane this time in Indianapolis. Tony, you've won two wide. You've won four wide. It's three final rounds and two wins. Sounds like you're a drag racer now. <laughs> Well, I got a drag race team that's on their game right now. It's uh, We didn't get the start to the year we wanted and what they expected, but uh, Rich and Richie and Eric and Bill and everybody on, you know, Bill and Tex and Daryl and uh, Chad, everybody that works on all three of these McPhillips cars uh, just do an awesome job. And it's just up to us as the drivers to do our job and do our part and, and complement what they're doing. So uh, just unbelievable team effort, everybody did a great job all weekend and uh, worked out worked out how we hoped with your background in racing is there anything comparable to what you're doing now in the top alcohol dragster ranks in the sense that you run national events you run regionals and you collect points in both got to drop all the strategy that can go into running for a championship in this sport yeah, and honestly, I mean, I know Pops is really, you know, intense on the, the points part of it. For me, it's just taking it one race at a time and trying to learn and get better each event. You know, my wife, Leah, is a great teacher, and every night when we get done running, we talk about the day and we walk through what we did right, what I did wrong, and what we can do to be better. So uh, it's it's great having a, your wife as your coach and, and teammate and uh, just helps helps make all the learning curve a lot quicker. Smoke is on the rise.